Morning everybody and welcome to another adventure. Now then, before we go any further, let's have a little quiz. Hands up, everybody who thinks that this is a post-medieval sword hanger. <laughs> Nobody. Now then, hands up, everybody who doesn't think it's a post-medieval sword hanger. Now you're probably wondering where I got this marvellous piece of information from. Well, I got it from the experts. I went to see the Fines Liaison Officer the other day, Amy, lovely woman, and obviously a Fines expert, and she took one look at it and said, it's horse tack, and it's definitely not a post-medieval sword hanger. So that's put that one to bed, finally. Now then, we've got some new land, in total about 800 acres to start with. I'm afraid it's been detected lots of times by clubs and rallies. <laughs> no surprise there then. But you never know your luck, they might have missed something. But on a plus note, I live just over the brow of the hill, about five minutes away. So that's wonderful. Right then. <laughs> Let's go and see if we can find anything, anything that the hundreds of other metal detectors have missed. <laughs> Cash in a bit. Right then, we've got the first find down here, um, only about four inches deep, cracking signal. Some sort of plaque, name tag, something like that. I think there's some writing on it, but I can't see what the writing is. I'll have to wait until I get home, clean all the mud off it. But it's a nice little first find, whatever it is. Oops, anyway, just let me have a quick look at that. And there it is, the strange little doohickey. As I said, looks like some sort of plaque, name tag. Suppose it could be off a saddle, don't know. Anyway, we'll fill the hole in, pop this into the boxy thing, and we'll plod on. Well, before we look at the find, it has to be said, I do consider myself very lucky living where I do. I mean, the views are absolutely stunning. I mean, just look at that. It's absolutely beautiful. And it's just such a pleasure to be out here. Anyway, anyway, we've got a find down here. Uh, I'm not sure. I think it might be a sixpence. I could be wrong. Anyway, let's have a look. Only about four or five inches deep. I'll just uh, turn the camera lens thingy around so I can see what I'm doing. Yeah, that's it just there. Still in the little cloddy thing. And it is, it's a sixpence. Good old King George. And there he is. Well, what a lovely little find. I wasn't expecting that. Uh, can't see a date on it at the moment, but I'm not bothered. It's a lovely find. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm as happy as Larry with that. Right, we'll pop that into the boxy thing and we'll see if we can find anything else. A lovely bit of silver. Can't fault it. <laughs> Right then, well, just every now and again, I get a little bit fed up of just having sandwiches for my lunch. So today, we're having a fry up. <laughs> we're having bacon grill and fried egg sandwiches. Absolutely wonderful. <laughs> right, I'll catch you after I've had my lunch. Okie dokie. <laughs> Right then, well we've got another target down here. Oh, and before I forget, you've probably noticed I'm using the Technetics today with the 13-inch uh, Mars Discovery coil on. I just thought it might help me to punch a little bit deeper being as this place has been detected to death. Anyway, uh, fine down here, I'm heading up the hill towards the church 
and once again it's, I bet this one's only about three inches deep uh, it's just here I thought it was a button at first but I don't think it is it's wafer thin it could be <laughs> could be what's left of some kind of small hammered coin or token and I doubt very much whether there's anything on it but I don't care because it's a nice find anyway I'll let you have a look and there it is little wafer thin copper token or small jet on perhaps something like that anyway we'll pop it away and see if we can find anything else right then well we've got another shallow find just here only about three four inches deep cracking signal though I mean I think it's only a button but it looks like a very very nice button very tiny lovely decoration on it right I'll let you have a look and there we are my friends just there as I said I think it's only a button but a very attractive little find lovely decoration on it I'm just about at the side of the church now <laughs> not that I'm expecting to find anything ecclesiastical as I said it's been done to death anyway but we'll crack on right well I'm about as close to the church as I can get now it's just behind you behind a big hedgerow and I, I can't get any closer than this anyway let's have a look at what we found down here once again it's it's nothing to shout about in fact <laughs> once again I'm not entirely sure what it is it might be some sort of gaming piece I'm not entirely sure it's lead it's got like a dome shape on the top of it I can't see any markings on it but once again it's a nice little find And there it is like I say it's got no markings on it that I can see little dome shape on the top could be a gaming piece apart from that I haven't got a clue <laughs> anyway we'll pop it away and get a bit further right then well this is about the deepest target I've dug all day it's about eight inches deep and it's a little coin just here and looking at it without my glasses on I'd hazard I guess and say it's some sort of farthing yes it is it's um, George VI not too old but still a nice find in fact I've never dug one of these up before I've dug the ship's half pennies up I've dug the pennies up I've dug the two shilling pieces up and I've even found a half crown but I've never found one of his farthings so I'm quite happy about that yeah that's a lovely little coin it's got the uh, little robin on the back of it yeah lovely coin look at that you might just be able to see George the sixth on the other side if I catch it right in the sun yeah lovely little find right I'm going to start working my way back down towards the car at the other end of this field which is about half a mile away <laughs> right we've got a rather more substantial find down here it's a large buckle 
Um, not very old, granted, probably 17, 1800, something like that, but still a nice find all the same. Uh, horse tack, I presume. Same as the post medieval sword hanger. <laughs> well, as I say, it's got a beautiful green patina to it. Absolutely lovely little find. Anyway, we'll pop that away, fill the hole in. Oh, once again, maybe three, four inches deep, something like that. Okay, okay. Right then, you wonderful people. Well, we've got another target down here, which will be my last target of the day, actually, because I've eventually made it to the other side of the field, and I'm parked just over there. Anyway, it was about seven, maybe eight inches deep. It's another coin. And I'd hazard a guess, and say it's George the Third, a half penny, with nothing on it at all. <laughs> So, what a wonderful note to end the day on. <laughs> but I'm not complaining, I'm not complaining. A find's a find. It's starting to get a bit windy now as well. Anyway, I'll let you have a look before I go home. And there it is, my friends. What I assume is a George the Third half penny. I could be wrong, but there you go. Right then. That just leaves me to say, thank you very much for joining me. It's been a lovely day. It's been hard work because these fields are absolutely vast and I've only just scratched the surface. Although it has to be said, the finds are very few and far between. But as I said earlier, it's been detected to death, rallies, clubs, whatever. And they're still on it now, on the other side of the lane over there, where the church is. Uh, so, anyway. It is what it is, and you find what you find. So, as I said, thank you very much for joining me, and I'll catch you all the next time round, my friends. Bye for now. <laughs>